Writing retreats are amazing opportunities for writers to focus on their craft and connect with like-minded individuals. However, many of these retreats can be expensive, with some costing hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love to attend one of those retreats someday. But what if I told you that you could create your own writing retreat for a lot less? I might have just made a giant breakthrough here. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's something here. Oops. <laughs> In this video, I'll be sharing with you the steps I took to create my own writing retreat and how I stayed motivated and how it impacted my writing. So if you're looking to carve out some time for your writing without breaking the bank, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. Here's what I had available for my retreat. Now being aware of what I had available, <laughs> here was the plan for day one. I wanted to start by choosing two out of the four ideas I had to work on. Pause this video and let me know which two out of these four ideas you find most interesting. I'd be interested to see which ideas you would have had me work on. I decided to incorporate some version of the Pomodoro technique. Oh, and also the night before I started this retreat, I just wanted to set myself up for success. So I just went ahead and pasted the story circle up on my wall as well as wrote down the beats and then wrote down the one to eight points of the story circle for my ensemble film, which I would focus on on this side of the wall. So let me give you a look inside of day one to five of my writing retreat. It all started with prep work. And by that, I mean prepping my hydration. Let's get some jazz. 25 minutes. No. Moments. Quickest 25 minutes ever. Okay, next 25 minute stretch. Oh, this is good. Hey, she gets what she wanted. How has she changed? I want it to be more clear. Keep uh. your hands all coming together. <laughs> Second session done. I can't believe how much fun I'm having. I'm really enjoying working on this. I think it's easier because it's ensemble, so it's four different stories that um, are coming together. This one is one story and I don't want to overcomplicate it. I don't know, I might have to start again on it. It seemed like I was in a group, even if I felt that a lot of what I already did needed redoing. However, I may have got a little too confident in my ability to switch in between projects. I've run out of time, so I'm not going to finish this thought. I'm happy with my midpoint, but I want her to do something a little bit more active. Oh, okay, got a good idea. Okay, so when I come back, I'll, I'll remember it and then I'll finish it off. Uh, five minute break and then going back there and then I think I'm gonna be done. This film is so much fun to write. I wanna see this movie so bad. The rest of this specific session felt like I was skipping through a whimsical daydream and where in the past I'd let this moment continue while well, I decided to pause when my alarm went off. I'm not quite finished this thoughts on this character. Uh, I think two hours has been enough time. I mean, the energy I felt has been incredible, uh, but I really feel like I've used a lot of energy, so I'm actually quite tired. So I'm gonna pay the bills and do some of my work now and I'm hoping to come back for one more hour a little bit later today. I remember thinking I'm never gonna forget this thought. <laughs> I may not have remembered where I wanted to go with this, but it couldn't have been that great if it wasn't as memorable as what I originally thought it was. I've just got a bit of a random idea. It's sort of like a set piece of things that all tie together. I, I'm not sure where they fit within the beat, but I just have this, this 
sort of golden thread that I just want to write down and just stick somewhere and then maybe see how that's going to <laughs> tie into all of this. I just don't want to get too caught up in the, the mathematics of putting a screenplay together. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's something here. <laughs> And just like that, inspiration hit me like a wrecking ball. Into the last 25 minutes I went, and this time, <laughs> it was I who beat the clock. Okay, I have 10 minutes to go, and I have done the rough outline. This is my first take on all of these stories, and I'm I really like them. <laughs> there are a lot of questions in here. It's not just all fully formed ideas. There's, I give myself like a couple of options, two or three. Maybe this, maybe this happened. Maybe this is what they're thinking. So I've got a lot of questions here. I'm really proud of what I've done, especially with my other screenplay. This kind of momentum, I don't think I would have got if this wasn't, I think, the 12th draft of the screenplay. So I, <laughs> I mean, it, it, if I remember the first time I did the beat sheet for this, it took me, I want to say, like a week to do. The story has changed so much, so, so, so much. But I feel like all of the different versions, there was a little pearls that I just really liked and somehow they've all seemed to just come together today. <laughs> I feel quite positive now but we'll see. I'm just taking this one day at a time. I mean I have no idea what I'm doing. I just want this to be a fun experience and so far it has been. For day two I plan to do the story circle for the film I had previously done the beats for as well as tighten up the beats a little. I'll be presenting the summary to my husband tonight at our date night and he's not one to mince his words. Also, I am somebody who likes to celebrate the small victories and last night I got an email from Naomi who's been so kind to just do this journey with me for, oh my goodness, like over a year now and I told her about a couple of screenplays that I was thinking about and she said if there were two that she thinks that I should get started on it would be Nepal and Week of Wow and I mean I'd already started this retreat yesterday already and it was just affirming to hear that she likes those two as so well. So I've mentioned what I'm doing with Nepal with Week of Wow it would be similar I'm going to just try to summarize the story to present to my husband tonight and yeah I'm just going to be sitting here doing a bit of laptop work today but probably walking towards the wall just to see where I was yesterday maybe make some changes I'm gonna be working in 25 minute intervals with five minute breaks and I'm looking forward to my coffee decaf <laughs> and just like day one of this retreat starting was the hardest part. However, the moment I started, it really is like a box of sunshine was opened up over me. I had a clear idea of what I wanted and where I was heading with both films. What's quite nice is that my energy was monitored because before I got tired, I would find that my alarm would go off and the signal that it was time for a refreshing treat. I can't believe that the time is done already. This has been rewarding. I have made so much momentum in both screenplays and I'm really enjoying them. Like, I don't know if it's the time pressure or maybe just switching between projects, but I'm having so much fun doing this and the ideas that are coming to me, it, it just feels right. And I know things could change at any second, but for now, this has been incredible. reworking my beat sheet today, keeping in mind the story circles of both of my main characters. I should actually create story circles for each of the characters. I think it would make them a lot more robust. 
but I am just going to try to tighten the bed sheet up first, asking myself questions like, how are the characters feeling? Is this fitting in with the overall theme of the film? Is it serving a purpose? And could it be written better? Uh, there are some notes from last night, just some ideas that I can incorporate as well. a lot of momentum here. This is the part where I'm doing research and trying to draw inspiration from other things to make it better. And it's taking a lot of time. I'm <laughs> on the first beat only <laughs> after 25 minutes. So yeah, that's, um, that's going slow. But the next 25 minutes, I'm going to go back to my week of wow. I only finished one character summary yesterday, so I'm going to be working on the other three. Hopefully I'll be able to do another character summary in the 25 minutes. There's a huge part of me that hoped that I'd be ready to start writing the screenplay tomorrow for my Nepal film. I think I had a bit of an expectation gap <laughs> because I'm, I'm not ready. I'm still working through the beat sheets and fine tuning a couple of things there. And I'm still not even finished summarizing all the characters for my week of wow film. Am I disappointed? I mean, I kind of think this video would be more exciting if I was like, okay, tomorrow we start facing the blank page, we start writing this script. Yeah. But that's not gonna be the case. I needed something fresh for day four. And so I decided to study the film, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, as inspiration for the ensemble film that I'm developing. I would document every scene of the film on both a post-it and in my computer, allowing the scenes to sink in, but also to make them accessible for me if I'm working from home or if I perhaps need to work from a coffee shop. I'd split the scenes into the three acts of the film, and this would hopefully steer me in the direction of what works, so that when I start to write Week of Wow, I'd be less intimidated to get cracking. I also spent further time tightening up my bed sheet for Nepal. And then to end of my time, I worked on summarizing the arc that the third character in my ensemble film would go on. For day five, I got to an exciting place with Nepal. I had the bed sheet done, the story circle completed, and I had a good understanding of the theme and the journeys that my main characters were going on. This led me to the point where I could draw inspiration from Blake Snyder's book and create cards with scene ideas on them. I spent the time outlining the scenes, and then I managed to have enough scene ideas for the entire three-act structure of the book. time I spent on my ensemble film was to finish off the summary of the arc that my fourth character went on and then I spent some time making sure that although there are four leads in the film, each lead had a unique voice, each journey was specific to that individual character and that all the stories ended up with the four leads sharing in the same theme. And then before I knew it, my alarm went off. This time not signaling the end of a session, but rather the end to a week where I poured my heart into two projects. There are some things that may surprise you. <laughs> and that is that every single day before I started, I felt incredibly nervous for some reason. And I felt like I wanted to procrastinate starting. <laughs> but this week I ate more food than I usually eat by a mile. <laughs> 
but I'm sure most of you can relate. I think we all go through it. Starting is the hardest part. Oh my goodness. But when I actually sat down, it's like inspiration just came, the flow came. I went into this week a tad over ambitious because I'd hoped to finish the first draft of the screenplay which now when I think about it is just so unrealistic. But I may not have reached the quantity goals that I had in mind, but I have surprised myself with the quality of idea of story that I have managed to come up with this week. And I am so excited because I'm ready to start writing the screenplay on Monday. And I feel like I have a guide, a roadmap, if you will, with the screenplay, however. I managed to come up with a summary of every single character. There's four leads in this one. And yeah, I'm going to need to take a bit more time with this one. I enjoyed that activity where I watched the sisterhood of the traveling pants and made notes of the specific scenes and what happened in them. That activity did take really, really long. So I think it's going to take a lot more time to flesh that out. But I think when I have to start this one, it will come a lot easier than this one just because the stories that I've come up with here, I just feel like they come from such a place of heart. I don't know if that makes sense, but they, they moved me. I was surprised, I was surprised <laughs> with what came to me here. So I'm really, really, really excited about this one. If you want to know how I feel, I feel exhausted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this challenge, it was surprisingly energizing beyond words, no. but all of that energy <laughs> that I felt while I was writing has also left. <laughs> so I'm glad it was five days because I don't think I could sustain this amount of focus. I definitely could not do this um, <laughs> going into the weekend. I think a break is good. Okay. And I'm looking forward to Monday where it's going to be a different experience, not as intense, but I'm still looking forward to it. And that's it for my zero dollar writing retreat experience. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Remember, you don't need a fancy retreat or a lot of money to make progress on your writing. But if you can afford it, do it. <laughs> or if you get an opportunity to go, take it. I know I would. But at the end of the day, if you're a writer, you got to sit down and write, do the work. And I find that a DIY writing retreat could be the springboard you need to actually get yourself on the chair staring at the bank page. So if you're feeling stuck or overwhelmed, I encourage you to create your own writing retreat and see what you can accomplish. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to see more screenwriting content from me in the future. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye. I literally just turned off this light and taken off my mic. But then I got this idea that I thought, I don't know, I just put out there to you. For me, filming this has been beyond rewarding because I felt like I was holding myself accountable to whoever was watching this. So if you feel like this is something that you want to document and film, I don't know how you want to structure your own DIY writing retreat. I'm sure we could all learn from each other, but let me know in the comments below if it's something that you do. I'd love to see your journey and how it all panned out for you.